you for answering the social relationship section of this interview. Now, for the last section, please answer the questions as truthfully and as quickly as possible. Thank you for your willingness to work for Rama Industries. We are now processing your PAT4C2 answers. While we evaluate the answers, please take a look at the benefits and terms of agreement on your right and left. We have found a position matching your profile by 87%. Please, have a pleasant assignment with Rama Industries. Press the red button to accept the terms and conditions and begin working. This is Saturn HQ. You have your first task as the new technician of Base M. We have lost our communication link with the base. Re-establish the comm link between HQ and the comm station. When this is done, we will send further instructions. HQ out. Data won't reach Facey. There's not much we can do. We won't be here anymore. Do you think that... Why is the comm link to HQ back on? Did I undo that already? Can't be. I just saw him heading to the generator. Bloody hell. Phil, they didn't listen. They sent someone. Goddamn Rama executives. You there, in the comm station. I am the operating director here, Amanda Pohl. Listen, there is no time to explain, but all the mission data is being loaded in the cargo train. This is Saturn HQ. 
Good. We have the comm link up. Thank you. Next, you should head to Base M. On your way there, you could lower the weather station telescope to protect it from the storm. HQ out. One more data barrel, and we're done. Copy that, Amy. Uh, I found the generator's control rod automation. I'll bypass it now.
I tried to keep Amy's research work going on here. Even with the lack of light, the plants seem to be doing fine. But the bees are behaving strangely. They seem to spread some kind of luminescent dust. Now they are keeping out of reach, so I haven't been able to catch one to examine, but I'll keep trying. If this is some kind of experiment, I wouldn't mind it ending soon and the rescue team coming through the airlock. A week feels like a month when you're alone in the dark.
Karen, 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 Karen. Nothing in the base changes. My hair and fingernails were not growing. I think time was standing still. I dream about Ethan and Jessica every night. Even the drugs don't numb the dreams anymore. Yet I keep taking them. In some of the dreams I'm back at home. But I act like I'm dead. Not hearing anything I say and just looking right through me. I keep telling myself they're only nightmares. I'm alive. I know I'm alive. Patrick is dead. But I am alive. I want him to have a face again.
kids, this is Mom. I'm sending you this audio tape so you can hear my voice. My days here on Titan are based on routines. Every day I go and check certain places in the base for broken things. If something is broken, I fix it. Sometimes I have to build something new. Like tomorrow, I'm going to build an extension to a platform in a very deep cave. Wow. That place is something I can't even explain. I wish I could show it to you. In my free time, I go to the gym to run on a treadmill. Oh, and I also read a lot of books. I think reading makes you smarter. So don't you ever stop reading. All right, now I have to go. We have a daily meeting with the others. I miss you and I love you very much. Bye. I have to say, picking inside people's private quarters is revealing to say the least. To Paul's quarters, not surprisingly reflects how into their research they are. Amy, on the other hand, seems to have a soft spot for romance and nurturing. Lassia's room was the dump I expected it to be. Aside from moonlighting as a space burglar, I've mostly been reading books, popping sleeping pills and reflecting on my life. The life I had before ending up in this limbo. recording these messages for the researchers, but I guess I'm doing this for myself now. I only found a couple of cassettes, so I had to tape over the old ones. I think this one is going to its sixth re-recording already. The boredom's really been getting to me. Out of desperation, I've decided to break into the study library. I had to manually override the door system. You know, things are getting bad when you're resorting to breaking and entering just to read some of Philip's literary classics. By the time I get out of here, I'll probably be the most sophisticated drama technician in the solar system. circadian cues, human day lengths can vary between 18 and 52 hours. So I can't rely on my sleeping rhythm when estimating time. It's probably around mid-April. And time for yet another diary entry from yours truly. I've managed to break into every room on the station in search of anything worth salvaging. Mainly I've been looking for some entertainment and ways to record this diary. Lion's music cassettes have been the most handy for that task, and, and frankly, I feel he owed them to me. The thing in the lab gives me the creeps. It makes me feel so warm and soothing, but my rational mind refuses to comprehend it. I try to visit the lab as little as possible because something just feels out of place.
city. After all the time I've been here, the things I've seen, I'm beginning to think there won't be a rescue. Carefully constructing a timeline of the unusual behavior of the people here, since the piece of the entity was brought into the lab, I've come to a conclusion. The MRI scans and measurements of common hormone levels all indicate that everyone here is experiencing the same condition. Homesickness. The entity is affecting our brains which leads to changes in our moods and desires. Everything's amplified after we brought the sample here. And the people that have been closest to it have experienced the most severe effects. Symptoms that were initially weak and varying have now coalesced and strengthened into severe homesickness. I think we need to get rid of the entity. I have studied the gravity beam, and I am fairly certain I can use it to destroy the sample. Hangovers in space are not as bad as on Earth. The way things escalated yesterday was really, really weird. I thought I knew these people, but something made them completely lose control. This is well in line with Seifer's findings. Taping one's thoughts and listening to them by oneself could externalize the troubles, making them easier to handle. Testing the personal dialogue therapy. Hey, I've not felt guilt from surviving the Europa incident. There are days when I can accept the fact that I couldn't do anything else. But then the pressure of publicity pushes me back into anxiety. I hoped I could just stay away from people so I could forgive myself. 